Bioinformatics essentially has to do with genes. And I think many of you probably already know that genes are essentially the basis of how our bodies are constructed and how they work. Um, genes are things that we inherit largely from our parents. And it's the reason, for example, that we resemble our fathers or our mothers or our great aunts. And the question is, or the question arose, well, now that genes were discovered, now that we know that they are inherited, how do they actually make our bodies? How do they help our bodies work? Genes essentially are used by the body to create proteins. And bioinformatics basically allows us to gain information about how genes matter biologically. They allow us to compare genes in a species that we know about, like fruit flies, to genes our own, for example, where we don't have very much information. It allows us to use the tools of mathematics, and in particular, probability, which is essentially the mathematical study of chance. It uses those tools and enables us to do huge comparisons and to point out comparisons that we could never have dreamt of, uh, even uh, except perhaps by the uh, luckiest of, uh, of chances. For example, the zebrafish is a fish with a backbone, so it's a vertebrate. It's very popular in it's uh, it's a very popular aquarium fish, and yet it is one of the most commonly used and one of the most important used importantly used animals models is the scientific word in heart disease neurophysiology like study of Alzheimer's even depression as I read recently. Now, how on earth would you think that a fish sitting in an aquarium would be able to give us knowledge about, you know, how our intestines work or how our heart works? Well, the reason for that is, again, because bioinformatics uses a technique for being able to match proteins to being able to match genetic sequences, and it turns out that the zebrafish has many, many genetic similarities to human beings. It also has, surprisingly, some behavioral similarities to human beings and, has, and is very amenable to experimentation. So this means that, um, that mathematics can play a tremendous role in enabling us to discover things that would be very hard to discover experimentally.